What do you want? Hi, Fox. Well, I'm looking a bit scruffy. A bit scruffy today. I um, had a bit of a tumble down the back steps. I was taking some kale out for the rabbits and I think I missed the bottom step and um, went down like the ton of bricks that I am and my poor knee is grazed and gashed and I'm hobbling around a bit. So I'm at home today instead of at work because I'm working on my laptop sometimes I find it a bit difficult without my two screens you know you get so used to all that real estate with working that um, I just find it a bit cramped to do actual work on my laptop yes poor me first world problems I have an internet connection I have a lovely laptop and I'm moaning about it there you go well, welcome to my world so um, I'm just taking a little break for lunch so I thought that I would talk to you thanks for the video but I have never heard of death calendars and yet again, I'm going to say how horrific <laughs> to actually see in black and white, even on a good day, how little time we have in life. I looked at the page and I really had no desire to print anything off and fill anything in and see how few boxes I had left in my life. Especially after the trauma of falling down the stairs and knowing that I'm a fat old lady who just, you know, once you, your knees have gone, you're stuffed. But look after your joints. If you can't get around, if your hips go or your knees go, you're effed, really. Yeah, death calendars. Who the flip thought of that? Is that a bullet journal thing, do you think? Another page on your bullet journal, which I've, as you know, which I use, but have managed to completely miss October. I was thinking that last night, but I think, you know what it is? It's October, because I really dislike Halloween, and Halloween is in October. While I don't begrudge the American people Halloween, I get very, very upset when people knock on my door and beg for candy here because it is not, here I go, I'm on my soapbox with my rickety knee, I'm on my rickety box. It is not a New Zealand holiday. It is not part of our tradition. The only reason, the only reason that we have Halloween in this country is because of American television programming. And that is not good enough. And I just won't have it. I won't have it. As you can tell, I'm... Not passionate about many things, but that's something that I am passionately against. Hey, so sketchbook school. I um, I didn't mind the monster week, but I didn't really push my buttons, but I really hated the surface design week. I did the surface de design... I did the surface design week by the woman whose name I can't remember and probably can't pronounce. I mean, I liked watching her do her work but I didn't like trying to do that stuff myself. I didn't enjoy that surface stuff. I did it, but I but I didn't enjoy it. Like, I did the, the cups, you know. She said to just draw the outline of them, which I tried to do, but I wasn't very interested in it, as you can tell from that. I ended up doing, going, you know, just doing them with a bit of perspective, which I enjoyed a bit better. But um, um, that's what it was. And then I, I did the plants, the flowers. I'll turn it that way. The flowers one. But you can just see how I'm not particularly interested. I've kind of just whacked it on there with very little thought. And when I, when I grabbed the wrong colour pen and did the orange outside, it didn't even bother me. It was like... And then I thought, oh, well, do this, Michelle, because you'll love it. You know, put the paint on there and do that. And I did, and I got bored and wandered off and ended up watching Bathurst. So, I really, really disliked that week of surface design. But I didn't mind the monster so much, but again, it didn't really grab me, you know. I downloaded Stephen's, or Stephen's pack of blobs, because my blobs went everywhere. They were actually all over this table that I'm sitting at. This was one of mine there. But he just doesn't float my boat. I did a bird. Did a birdie bird. Then this one, you can tell I'm like really not really over it because it's just like bleh. It's not even, I thought it was kind of like a distorted Lisa Simpson throwing up. Um, so I've got a few more of the blobs and I should really, I was going to say I should really do it. I hate, I hate the word should. Are you going to do it, Michelle, or aren't you going to do it? I don't know. But i tell you what I did find. 
is please let me find for you is that he actually has a daily monster maker app so you can actually just oh come on thanks just hit that and it sprays it and then you can make all your different doodads using that you see so, so my idea is, why would you draw it? And, and, then, and this doesn't really interest me either. Like even pulling out from the drawer the eyes and putting them on, it's just like, it's just, it's just not a thing that, it's not a thing that interests me at all. And um, that, mo that might be why, you know, I just don't have that curiosity or that imagination, which is what this course is all about. Unlocking that. Well, maybe I unlocked it, there's nothing in there. Maybe it wasn't even locked, maybe it was just like a door that was swinging open in an empty cupboard. You were probably going to wonder why the fan just started on that heater and made it really noisy. Because, you know, this camera picks up flipping everything, doesn't it? Hit your love life when you can turn your heater on and off from your iPhone. Dyson, man. Dyson. Um, I read the other day, which I found quite interesting, and I could potentially Google it to get more information. But Dyson, makers of vacuum cleaners and um, air purifiers and heaters, which are all ACE, by the way, is getting into the electric car business. So that's really interesting. It's interesting because they rethink everything, right? Because, let me show you this. This is a vacuum cleaner. This is a heater. Look at it. Colour me a Dyson fanatic. So I'm really looking forward to what he and his company will do with electric cars. Because he will rethink the whole thing. You won't just try and take an ordinary look at a car with a steering wheel, stick a battery in it, you know, and give it a brain and send it off. It's going to be completely different. Um, yes, I will try very hard the next big draw to film it and film how I draw. Uh, it might be successful. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm enjoying Inktober as well. Um, although I'm managing to keep up with the drawings, I'm not running to time with posting them. So I had a bit of trouble with the last couple of days where I grabbed the wrong pen. I was just feeling really lazy and I, I grabbed like a uh, like an ink, like a ball, wasn't a ballpoint, but like one of those normal pens you'd find in an office. And so when I did this drawing and then I used my felt tip, my very pale grey Tombow brush, it picked up all the colour and you can kind of see so it's quite kind of smudgy. I didn't like it. And then it was even worse over here for this one, which was called Shattered. Um, it really, instead of just being really light, it picked up all, made it really dark and really, really dingy. I didn't like it. And um, plus it scared my sister. She thought one of my rabbits had died on first glance. So all in all, it wasn't very big. I'll show you um, my next one, which I'm considering posting but I'm still thinking about whether I should put black in the background I'm not sure and the prompt was teeming oh the rabbits are teeming and um, the others you have to wait until they're posted I just really like that one oh, just truth them all maybe I should fill the whole page anyway um, Inktober and I wanted to just say how great it is that you're going to class um, got to go somewhere with a bunch of people to have some guidance and to learn how to uh, like not learn to paint really what is it you will be learning how to use the medium that you brought to class the watercolors um, learning some tips and techniques because there's you know a million ways to skin a cat and there's probably twice as many to use watercolors um, so great that it's mixed media because that kind of takes the pressure off watercolorists can be a bit precious so it's really good that it's multimedia in this, so it's obviously not a precious tutor. And um, 
And it's interesting, isn't it, to find that people have been coming to a class for many years. Yeah, we do that. When we find a class that we really like, we just keep going to it. I haven't been to one for a while, but I have been in that situation before, and I've learned heaps. So good to actually be able to block that time out, go do it, away from everything, learn, try, you know, and um, you just learn so much every time you do it. Every time you'll just learn something new, even if you don't realise it, your brain will soak it in, and that's what I find I do, and that's why I do the urban sketches. Big draw because I learn something every time and they're good people i got to learn this song though I love you ba I love you ba you ba I love you ba I love you ba I have the worst speakers you know you're changing it up with your ba ba buys <laughs>